Good afternoon. My name is Scott Rutherford, Chief Strategic Officer at T3Live.com. Welcome to today's recap and look ahead. It is Monday and it was a slow day. Uh, futures opened down a little bit. We talked about um, you know, micro support. Would we hold micro support and digest the, the, the weakness and continue to go sideways and flag for higher prices? Or would we break you know, Friday's low and you know, get a little bit shaken up for downside? So the market told us uh, no downside yet. We held above. Friday's lows across the board and just floated back up. And uh, there was definitely, you know, a few plays here and there to take advantage of as these individual stock patterns are showing up, which give us nice tactical cash flow versus, you know, going all in on indices long or short because that trade is, you know, well far behind us until something else develops. You look here at the chart of the SPX, talked about, uh, what was that, 2041 with 2041 hold, which is Friday's low. It basically held... Uh, almost to the handle, and then we turned up. So now we have a high level, uh, maybe flag being uh, you know, put in place again today. Here is the eight day moving average. We've been above this eight day moving average for quite some time. Is this rally long in the tooth? Perhaps, but does it mean you, know, you should be just shorting it you know, in anticipation of something not ending well? You know, those guys probably can't stay with it that long because they've run out of cash. Well, anyway, here's another level, and then you know, basically that's the, the prior high there. So, you know, are we going to hit here first? Are we going to pull back first? Are we going to bust through it at this point? You know, the, the market's telling you that sellers have no power yet. If you look at the, the queues, the queues didn't do a whole lot of anything. Still very tight, you know, getting very uh, constricted, which is good for us because if it trades above this prior spot, you could see another move for tech and, and we are not very extended in, in, the, in, in the queues. So, you know, keep that in mind. The, the Russell, which had a nice little breakout last week, holding in, digesting, okay? So this was your last little tradable move above this bull flag pattern that gave you a, a, an earlier move back here. So another little inside day. And what you do with an inside day is you usually, you know, wait to see it uh, resolved um, in, a, in a direction. And at this point, it looks like it wants to tag the 200 day. Lots of talk today about the Apple uh, event you know, smaller phone. I don't think that, you know, I, I thought it was very unimpressive, but whatever, you know, it's a quality company, low PE. Um, if all they could do was come up with different color bands and, and you know, go back in time to the iPhone 5 to, to, you know, to supplement their chain, whatever. We'll see how the market deals with it. You know, we caught a cute little trade, you know, after um, the, 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 what's called event started, and then it just closed kind of in the middle of the range, creating somewhat of a doji. Um, to me, you know, it's a coin flip right now. Uh, they, sometimes they, they, get, they can sell it down after an event, and maybe I guess it's kind of constructive that they couldn't sell it down, or maybe it's just that out of play. Last time I really liked Apple was here, and then once it held this spot, you know, that's when we got long. I have no position in Apple now. Um, it did seem like it was going to do like a little red dog reversal right around this pivot. I think some guys might have made some cute money short, but, you know, it, you know, it just seems like all this stuff wants to hit the 200 day. So... You know, I would just be light either which way. It's still above the eight-day moving average, and it's still trending. You know, we'll see what this day gives us. It has this FBI probe tomorrow. Um, in Elston, high beta land, a lot of guys early on made some money short. Amazon has been weaker, and then it like, kind of diverged where the market went lower, and Amazon got stronger, and guys were like, can we buy it? And I was like, well, maybe it forms an RDR and gets above Friday's low. Use that to either stop out of your short and potentially get long, and, you know, turn it into something to do. I think Sperling still has it. You know, it, it, it failed right here, gave you some nice downside, and then what did it do? It reversed above the 200-day, and if you use this as your pivot to cover, which was 546, first you could have made money short through there. It did get as low as uh, 538, so $6, $7, you know, and then it reversed, and now we'll see whether or not it could get back above the moving average. Just for today, it was a trade, and now you'll see how it develops. It's in the lower end of the range, and we'll see if a bounce gets contained to then break it or just stay in that range. Google's still strong, you know, doing its thing. Um, held the eight day, uh, took, it's taken a few days off now, um, but looks as if it's worked off this small little reversal tail after a big move. So we'll see if this wants to start to lead again. Facebook, which I've been focusing on this too, um, a little choppy up here, but all in all, holding the eight day moving average. Um, this I'm actually long. And I think, you know, I'm long because I feel like if the market's going to hang in there and just say Google starts to go and Facebook wants to show some power, I'd be buying it above this for a move back to highs. So 
Um, I'm in some and I'll see, you know, what, what's next here. This has been trending very well um, since the lows. It's a little bit like long in the tooth like everything else, but every now and then you get some patterns and we're building another bull flag and I'll, I'll trade it versus this spot. Um, this morning I went over with Chelsea Square SQ, which, you know, I put on my 2016 report. Now we're on number three of the 10 of, of a new issue that could probably, that could take out the, the, the IPO highs and it was, it was, you know, for the day, it was a pretty good focus, I would say. <laughs> um, you know, in the VTF, I bought it early, probably around 1220-ish, closed strong, and now here are those old IPO highs. So um, some tried it here when it wasn't ready and failed, and then some, you know, got, got back involved here, and now you have this nice little wedge, and boom. So we'll see if we get some follow through tomorrow. I'm still in some. Um, so that's number three that's worked out um, out of the 10 besides win, which was the first one, the number one play of the year. Um, there you go, and still hanging in there. And the other one was what could double this year, and it already doubled. So anyway, um, you know, you could play them, you know, as, as a trader, or you could, some guys take my uh, 2016 report and just put, uh, you know, 20% or 10% uh, in, in each idea and let it work out or, or almost work out, or, or some people trade it as if it's just a, an idea. And this, you know, has been trending well, and the FCX is also seems as if, you know, it could go again, held the eight day. Um, in other, I guess, Stockland, Tesla, still squeezing the shorts out of, uh, out of their whatever it is, or their pants. Um, you know, I know a lot of guys got caught with the, the whole Citron article. It, got, it came in one day, gave you a red dog reversal here, and we talked about if it gets above this, I don't care what Citron says, and if it gets above this, you better watch out. Well, look where we are now. It's very extended from the eight-day moving average. Um, it's into big time resistance, but it hasn't given you a signal yet to really be short. Um, some, you know, I was thinking about going out shorter today. I didn't, you know, because still it, there's no real, real sell pressure yet. But um, I, I wouldn't be buying it up here. But you know, you have to have, I guess, some wherewithal if you're going to start shorting it, because people thought it couldn't get through the 200 day. Then people thought once it got above the 200 day, it would be a failure. And now look where we are. So lots of thoughts, but the action is still to the upside. And until that changes, be careful. Um, you know, we saw uh, some decent action in some one-off type trades. I know VRX was, you know, on the move early and kind of fizzled out. Um, I guess if you have, you know, cajones of, you know what, uh, maybe you took it out long. Um, at this point, uh, you know, can it trade above this smaller spot here? It can, but it could also be a zero yes, but I'm, you know, you didn't hear that from me. Um, at this point, I would rather you do like, you know, options out a few months, so risk is premium paid, but whatever. Um, that, that helped the bios, which perked up on Friday, um, gave you a second day. You know, some were looking at the IBB and said, wow, maybe we have a double bottom here. And now you had your reflex off that. Uh, the 50 day comes in right there. Um, so we'll see if it wants to get back up to there. Um, Guild, which has been on the note for a while, finally had a, a nice day. Look at this Guild. Pow! After driving people nuts, you know how many times it tried and failed? Well, this time it finally had a clean move and some people long overnight and it kind of makes some sense. You'll see what happens up to here. Started talking about the GWPH after that big news, and some guys, you know, we traded to reverse the gap. They got to give some credit to Scotty C. He had a good trade. You know, came in for three days, started to hold in, got above this pivot. Looks good. Next spot's up here. Um, decent trade if you're in it. The eight day did play some catch up. Um, if you're in it like in, without options, and you're taking some risk, and with the risk comes reward. You know, so you, you'll see. But you know, these bios are tough, but. They, they, when they go like that, you know, it gets some people excited. But anyway, um, good day trade today also, besides if you, you know, bought some options into that, you know, 70 area. Um, XON, another thing we've been targeting, uh, kind of gave you eh, not much of a move, um, but still hanging out. Maybe at some point it gets above this. Um, BABA up four days in a row. We don't buy stocks up four days in a row, but still, you know, not really coming in yet. I've been talking about how this changed right here. Look at this gap up. That was the first pro gap in a while that held, and then it's been following the eight day all the way up to, you know, filling this gap. And it basically filled the gap, so at this point, extended, day four, some people are short versus a high, if that's you, okay. You know, I wouldn't be buying it up here, but again, being shorted, um, at, least, at, least, at least you have it calculated. Uh, and, and that's really it, you know. Um, we're looking for individual stock plays now, you know, because these charts are rotating, so you're getting these moves, and then they're flagging, and then they're either continuing or they're not. These continuation trades have been somewhat good to create some cash flow. Oh, some people were asking me about fit, why I'm in it. You know, I don't know. 
it's a piece of junk, but uh, it, it did hold in here. It looked like it perked up above this little range. So um, I got in it today. And I think you know maybe there's a, a little bit of a, of a catch-up trade because you know didn't, Apple didn't announce anything revolutionary for their i uh, their iWatch. So I'm thinking maybe it fills this gap and tags this. So first day up out of a diff, decent little flag. So maybe there's a little bit more. Um, so like you know these one-off plays you know are, are worth a look um, for cash flow. But don't don't get trapped in these things if they don't work. Uh, oil held in there. So lastly, I'll just show oil. Uh, still flagging, still above the eight day, still trending along, um, you know, and then like, until that changes, don't fight it. Um, we'll see what happens here. If uh, it can get above this spot, if it gets above this spot, you're going to start hearing again more about $50 oil and a lot of things are trying to get to the 200 day. This, if it's got up to the 200 day, this would knock the socks out of people. But anyway, well, you know, it, it got above the, the eight day here and now we'll see if it could flag again and continue. So in closing, hope you had a good day. Hope you didn't overtrade because you could easily do that. It felt very slow. It almost felt like a summer Friday. <laughs> um, there were some things to do, and we'll try and keep finding these things to do as long as they're defined and your risk reward um, is defined um, to make some cash flow because we have to be in our seat every day. Yes, you could do nothing, or you could try and find some situations that you know could net you money until the volatility comes back, if it comes back, but it should. It, it always comes back when you least expect it, so don't fall asleep behind the wheel. Have a good night.